Homo sapiens, that's Latin for man the wise. And a lot of wise women and men are in Cairo trying to do something about an overpopulated planet. The women have a lot to say and the men, well, they're doing a lot of talking. I think the women would ask this. If the planet is overpopulated, who are the unnecessary? And as Homo sapiens, does man the wise have the wisdom to decide? Listen to the women, because the answer's no. It's such a painful no that it's turned prelates into politicians and politicians into pastors, and it's turned all of them into accountants. They're bean counters, but they're counting human beings, and their detached calculations are dehumanizing women and families. The problem's real enough from the origin of our species to the year 1800, one billion lives were created. And 130 years later, by 1930, the world's population reached 2 billion. Getting the hang of this? If you're just 64 years old, there were 2 billion people on the planet when you were born. And today, we're just a heartbeat away from 6 billion and climbing. The problem's real, but it's not just about too many people. It's about people's lives. It's about rich nations and poor nations. So while they're trying to decide who should be allowed to live in a world that's being eaten out of house and home by too many people, I hope they have the common sense and the moral courage to listen to their mothers. Because the women and mothers, whether they're rich or poor, will move the debate beyond the counting of babies. They'll want to know why Homo sapiens, man the wise, still needs babies to bring in the bathwater.